Multi-model is <coughs> simply the idea that you can take one data store or one data store stack, sometimes different instances, and use it with different models on the same data. So for example, take something which is a document store and present it as SQL for reporting. Or have something that does both graph relationships and table relationships along with the same data. Let's talk about side by side the difference between polyglot and multimodal. And I'll use an example application which is pretty pedestrian. This is a hotel booking like hotel.com. And even within that web application, in addition to the BI or presentation layer and the you know, application user interface layer, at the data layer, there's at least five different kinds of things that you want to do with data that have sort of a natural model. Recommendations are naturally this fuzzy concept where you're taking and doing matching and like to be in a graph database. Whereas financial data tends to like to be in a relational database. So if you were to build this application and use Polyglot Persistent, you've got six different kinds of data stores. And there are lots of systems in the world that are built this way. Each of these you then pick up, you work on this part of the system, and you stitch them together. And the basic trade-off here is between a polyglot pattern where you're using, in this example, five different data technologies, or something that gives you a single data store that somehow lets you work with all those models. And that's a really simple at a high level. If you've got five different things, they're more complex. If you've got one thing, it's less complex, but the question is, can it actually do the job? What are you giving up? And I'll walk through different elements of that. First of all, this, what's the level of choice? You as a architect or as a application developer have. In the polyglot world, the area of specialized data stores, you have an enormous amount of choice. I'm not a big fan of DB Engine's ranking because it's all based upon popularity, but it lets you, uh, so it's like, I never won the popularity contest in high school, let me put it that way. <laughs> um, but there's 342 databases listed you got a lot of choice. And there's advanced features in some of those that are pretty, pretty cool. In the multi-model world, it's relatively new. Right? The concept sort of dates back about six years. In the last five years, you've seen a lot more press about it. There's a lot less choice, and each one of those may not have all the features. And, uh, this DB ranking doesn't list all, doesn't separate multi-model. This is a list of the current multi-model things that are on the market that really cover, I'll say, more than three models in a, in a decent way. So it's not that big. There's maybe 10 choices, but it's big enough that you really can do this as you get familiar with them.